can the government make it mandatory mm -hmm. for you to be vaccinated? And the answer people don't want to hear is yes, the government mm -hmm. can make it lawfully mandatory. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to explain that so that people understand it the different be good context. For you to explain it so, there are those who say, I don't mind taking the vaccine. There are those who say, I'm not sure yet, I'm on the fence, and there's who are saying outright no. And then there's the state. The state has to decide not what is good for Audrey or Renee or Troy, what is good for, for the, oh, state. the state. So your rights, and your rights when I mean your human rights and your constitutional rights, in where it infringes on the rights of someone else. Now, this mm -hmm. is a very tricky balance. Yeah, and and it's a tricky way. balance because in Belize, we are not used to doing things the right way. Mm -hmm. And since this pandemic, the governments have been forced to do things the right way. And often they do it the right way, not because they want, but because other people are vigilant. And because people don't know their constitution, they think it's the wrong way. So you have a choice. The problem comes in that People like we like saying I'm uh, um, Creole, you want to have your cake and eat it too. Okay, so you don't want to get the vaccine? No problem. What are your options? Well, your option is take the test. You don't want to take the test? Leave the workplace. You don't want to leave the workplace? Take it to court. Yeah. You want to take it to court? I can tell you one time what the law says. And you decide if you want to take it to court. But you have choice. You have choices. Yes, choices. But mm -hmm. more important, what I don't like is it makes it seem as those who don't want to take the vaccine are losing out everything. And those who are taking it are not losing out. That's mm -hmm. not true. What have they said? You'll become a zombie. You'll die in two years' time. You are magnetic. Your DNA has been changed. All of that. So if, uh, if you believe all of that, then please realize I took that risk. Yeah. And the, that is a thing we call in law benefit and burden. Mm -hmm. I took the burden of that risk mm -hmm. in return for the benefit of being able to stay in my workplace, mm -hmm. in being able to travel, being able to mm -hmm. do things. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. my risk. Let's look at the naysayers. They're saying, I don't want to take the vaccine. Fine. Don't take it. The government told you, take it or do the PCR. I don't want to do the PCR. Fine. You don't want to do anything. That is your choice. But the burden of your choice, just that like I have burden of my choice, is that Clearly, you have to um, put on your mask, mask and take the PCR if you don't want. It means that you may not be able to stay in your workplace. It means that you have certain measures that you have to take that I may not still have to take. Why is it that people want to say, I don't want to do it, but expect to say, I should get all the other benefits?